ओम श्री साई नाथाय न वेलकम ऑल टू अवर सीरीज ऑफ टेक्निकल सेशंस वी आर गेमिंग साइकिल ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड द टेक्निकल सेशंस ऑन डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट टू द माई सिक्यूएल डेटाबेस हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट टू द माई सिक्यूएल डेटाबेस बाय यूजिंग पाइथन सो लेट स्टार्ट सो इन लास्ट वीडियो we have installed the mysql we have created the demo project under demo project we have created the table demo user under demo user we have already created few records there are two records available and we are going to fetch all the records and we are going to use only username and password for the first record so let's start so open the pycharm id we have created and we have seen the hello world and printing some calculations so in the project we are going to create dot py file file mysql connector demo dot py so it's created the mysql connector demo dot py now we need to import my sql dot connector it is not giving error why because i have already installed the my sql connector we can find the my sql install connector from here click this python version then go to the interpreter setting and in the interpreter setting you can find out the mysql connector if it is available on your machine it's okay if it is not we need to install it so how to install i am going to uninstall it first let's get it uninstall see now there is a no mysql connector available in the package list in the python interpreter scanning interpreter let's complete this process yeah this is completed so how we are going to uh, install it i have used the pip command see over here recently i have used so i am going to use the same command pip command is used to install or uninstall the packages so we required the package mysql hyphen connector hyphen python and let's enter so while using this command we need to mention exact correct spelling name of the package otherwise it will throw the error yeah it starting started the installation let's wait for couple of second it will not take more time yeah the installation is gets completed it's 8.3.0 let's see again if it is available or not in the interpreter setting it's still reloading it's working scanning install packaging uploaded now see let's see yeah now it is available 8.3.0 mysql connector python so we have inputted let's create a connection by using connection object use the package mysql dot connector dot connect and provide the arguments what are the different arguments required one is required host name that is host comma username of the database comma password of the database p it's spelling mistake okay password of the database comma and database name itself now how we can find these values <coughs> sorry now how we can find these values host name username password and database so go to the mysql server in the database in the manage connection you can find the your connection and you can find your host name that is a local host copy over here paste you can use your machine ip address 
instead of localhost as a host value use the password or use the username I have password I am going to change this password after this demo video after this session database what is the database name see over here we have created demo project demo project database name dot table name so it's database name so we have created the connection let's save it and check it whether the connection is whether by using these arguments or parameters we can connect to the database or not from the python so let's by using if condition we can check it if connection we have created connection dot is connected if it is true then print connection is successful or we can write successfully connected to the MySQL if it is not that is else else what is else error in connection to the MySQL right now let's execute this file and let's see whether we have connected to the database successfully or not refactor rename copy the file name what is the command to execute python file it's a python and the file name let's see yeah you can see successfully connected to the mysql it means by using this connection and by using this parameter we are able to connect successfully and connection dot is connected it's written true so it's executed this print print command and it's written successfully connected to the mysql yeah so first part we have completed now we need to create the cursor cursor is equal to connection dot cursor sorry why cursor is required cursor is required to execute the sql queries to store the values written by the sql queries execution okay so let's print the cursor let's see what is in the cursor f code cursor is cursor see here error is given I think some typo mistake was there cursor cursor let's re-execute now and let's see what is the value available in the cursor so successfully connected to the mysql that is this command cursor is c mysql cursor nothing executed yet so it is written cursor is what is cursor see mysql cursor is there and we have not executed anything that is printed cursor is so let's create a simple query select query and we are going to execute this select query select star from database name dot table name right so what is the database name we have database name as a data demo project 
what is the table name we have table name demo user right and no don't forget to view semicolon so copy it paste over here and execute it let's see it skews three columns id username password but we require only username so we can instead of star we can use username and the password column second column password and let's re-execute it now only two columns return and we have two records username password we can also use this query if we don't require id instead of select star we can use the select username comma password from demo project dot demo user table name now let's print the query and see what is the value in a query sql query is and give value print let's execute this from the terminal python mysql connector successfully connected cursor not executed sql query is select username password from demo project demo user so till now we are good so now we need to execute the query let cursor dot execute the query and provide the query in the bracket as an argument okay now execute it and now print again the cursor and let's see after the execution what is the value available in the cursor same file re-execute now query is ex successfully connected cursor nothing executed sql query is and after executing the query cursor is cm c mysql cursor select username password from demo project dot 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 so now it's executed the query that is select username password from demo project dot demo username so cursor is executed successfully now we need to store the execution result of the cursor in some result so let's create result is equal to uh, am i forgetting something cursor let's see what is written in notepad create cursor by using then create sql query to fetch the data then execute query then fetch result written by query okay fetch result written by the query let's see over here result one is equal to cursor of fetch one okay got it i forgot that so we are ex we have executed the query by using cursor dot execute and now the execution is available in the cursor and we are going to fetch the result and store into the result way object so cursor dot fetch so there are multiple methods available fetch all fetch one fetch many fetch warning so right now we are going to see fetch one first and then we will see the fetch all so select the fetch one now it returns two results we have seen it returns two records out of that two records we are only interested in with the first record so we have selected the method fetch one and the re this fetch one that is this result record row one is available in the result okay let's print it and see what is there in result result is curly bracket and result save it and execute the python see 
cursor select result is username one and password one though there are two records available in the table though those record are available in the cursor but we are fetching only one record from the cursor instead of two records or instead of fetching all record so now we have result and this is the result but we want to fetch the column names separately so how we are going to fetch it so create a column column co value underscore username comma column we can provide username value column password value so we have created two variables is equal to result so the these two values available in the result so from the result first value we are storing in the column username underscore value variable and this second value from the tuple password we are storing in a column underscore password underscore value and now print both the individual values separately is curly bracket copy the same one and just rename the value okay so what we have done till now we have imported the mysql connector if we don't have the package mysql gives the error so we have imported the mysql connector package mysql hyphen connector hyphen python package by using the pip command uh, where it is let's see let's see so, yeah this is the command we have used pip install mysql connector python after installation watch this bar process bar once everything is updated you can click over here python 3.1.2 click on the interpreter setting navigate to the python interpreter and you can observe the mysql connector python package version latest version 8.3.0 you can open the same thing from main menu settings and over here open the project open the interpreter and same thing is available over here so we have installed the package mysql hyphen connector hyphen python and then the mysql error will gone was gone then we have created connection by using this package mysql connector dot connect method this method requires host username password database we take these values from the mysql database manage connections and the same values which we have used to login into the mysql database localhost host name username password which we have used the database name which we have we have created demo project and sometimes by using these values sometimes by using only these four values it's get connected but sometimes it not get connected then we need to provide the port number the port number is available over here as in a separate argument one more argument comma port number and it is getting it's get connected if still it's not getting connected the instead of localhost as a host name we can provide actual IP address of your machine on which your MySQL server is installed machine or laptops actual IP address instead of the local host it can also work then we have checked whether the connection is happened successfully or not by using the method is connected if connection dot is connected method if it is returns true we have printed successfully connected else there is a error just to check whether the connection is successfully happened or not we have connected it successfully or not then we have created cursor on the connection connection dot cursor method what it does 
it required to execute the query and to save the result from the execution of the query right we have printed the value what is the value in the cursor till before the execution of query it doesn't have any value not yet executed nothing executed yet Sim similar like this it returns it's printed this mysql server nothing executed yet then we have created the query simple query you can select use the select star from if you you have you, your requirement is specific to fetch specific column so we, we can mention username password from the project name dot table name so we have project name demo project dot table name is a demo user we require two column username and password from this table from this table demo project table demo user column id columns are id username password but we require username and password then uh, we executed this query by using method execute on the cursor cursor dot execute and passing the query as a argument then we printed after the execution what uh, what is there in the cursor after the execution you can see cursor is c mysql cursor and the executed query is printed over here it means this query we have passed over here it's get executed successfully then we have stored the execution result available in the cursor from this execution into the result by using result is equal to cursor dot fetch one so what does fetch one fetch one does returns only one value as we know we have multiple records available in the table but we are interested very first record so we have used fetch one method so we have also seen what are the other methods are there dot fetch all is also there and first fetch one fetch all what it does it returns all the records so we are going to see after this discussion so fetch one and we have printed the values what is there in a result if you can see the result is username password so it returns the tuple having one record having two values column one and column two we have printed over here then our requirement is we want to store or use the column one value and column two value separately so we have created two variable column username value and then column password value separated by comma is equal to result the result we have stored over here uh, it's written by the fetch one method stored in a result and we are fetching the values written by the fetch one method and storing it into the separate columns or separate variables and then we are printing the values that is printing separate values that is so let's uh, execute it once again and see what is there python and the file name see the result is that is this result is this is tuple and the column name value is username one that is this first value column password value is password one that is second value we have written one record and from first record first column is stored in a first variable second column is stored in a second variable first column the results have two one record and two columns so from result first column value stored in a first variable second column value stored in a second variable and we have printed this okay now see what does the fetch all records for what does the fetch all method so for that i am going to comment out this and this also we have seen it so for comment out more than one rec row we can use the shortcut key control plus forward slash it's comment out the all the records now we have executed till here we have executed cursor and cursor having the select queries executed let's see 
so we are going to store all the records not only one record so here only one record we are using so we are use result now we are we having more than one record so let's use results is equal is equal to and same cursor dot sorry spelling mistake cursor dot page instead of one we are going to use all all method so it returns all the records that is two records available in the table let's print it the result instead of result we are going to use results instead of result we can provide result all so it will be meaningful for us result all sorry now save it and execute the file python space file name enter see successfully connected still here there is a no execution then nothing executed yet then we have printed the query we are going to fire then once the cursor query is executed by using cursor method cursor dot execute so this query is executed now result is now result is where is the result is this result is what is the result now see the open bracket square bracket and close square bracket there are two records in a open bracket and close bracket first record in second record is in second open bracket and close bracket we can compare it with the sql table username one password one username two password two username one password one username two password two so it returned two records what why because we have used fetch all previously we have used fetch so it is it was returning only one record now how we are going to use all the values from the all the records let's use for loop to iterate let's go one by one row each oh in result all result all having two records in the form of tuple this tuple one and tuple two record one and record two now for each row we need to print so how we are going to print it to row one password is equal to row one so what the, it means we are storing we are fetching the first record in the row there are two values so we are using zero that is first index one that is index one zero and one and we are storing in username this username and password into this okay and let's print it out print again here we can use the same one for loop username is username and password is password okay so now we have two rows for the first row we have two columns two values for the first value we are storing username second value from the first row we are storing in a fast password and then we are pr printing username and password then first once it is completed it's move for loop move to the next record that is this one the second record having username 2 so it will print it will store username 2 in a username column password 2 in the password column password variable and then we are printing this so let's see uh, let's save it and re-execute the same file and let's see what is the what are the values successfully connected cursor nothing executed yet sql query we have printed this once it is executed my sql cursor is this execution result 
we have printed what is the result this is the result written by the cursor and we fetch the results written by the cursor by using for loop and we have printed it username is username one password is password one once it is done then username is username two password is password two right i think uh, we have covered today's session guys hope this will help you to understand the functionality or concept how we can connect mysql database by using python